The greatest American alive. 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 Have you ever seen Big Head Ants? Have you, the greatest American alive, ever seen big head ants? The motherfucking head so goddamn swollen, and they got these big ass chompers. Chompers so goddamn big, they look like they could bite off your motherfucking pinky toe. When Project Daddy was just a project baby, we'd go to my granddaddy's house, and he had this gr a red house right across from the cotton fields. And so for events or for just to visit, vacations, family reunions, I'd go visit my old grandpappy and I'd go behind that red house and on the trails there'd be these big ass mounds of big red head ants, yes? And I'd chase these motherfuckers scared as shit hoping they don't bite off my pinky toe. Then one day, my granddaddy passed away, right? And so I wanted to go back down to this red house so I could go see these big head ants. And so I take my ex-wife down here to the cotton fields right across from the red house's fucking cotton fields. And when I go see the house, there's little white kids playing out in the yard. And it broke my heart. I wanted to cry right there across from the red house and, and in between the cotton field. I wanted to just start shedding tears because I swore to God that was my granddaddy's land. I swore to God that I could always go and play with the big red hand ants for the rest of my life. But then I found out that my granddaddy didn't own it. And he was just living there for decades and someone else was profiting off of his existence. And then I, I hate that goddamn structure so fucking much. And then every person I talk to, to you, the greatest American alive, when I speak to wonderful individuals, they tell me, man, I'm finna go get two or three properties. I'm finna go have some Section 8 housing. And I'm finna guarantee my money. And I'm like, hell, that's, that's one hell of an investment, right? Motherfuckers say, can't go wrong when it comes to buying homes. As long as someone else is paying you to live there, the American person wants to build castles on top of human bodies i'm like what the fuck man every american citizen believes that they want to be a slave owner you say hold on project daddy i don't want to be no motherfucking slave owner but what is the model in america to generate capital either start a business and now when you start the business you're not going to make your employees partners and so they're not going to get the same money that you get the greatest american alive no they don't deserve what you get because proof of concept is your idea you deserve to get the, the bulk of all the money and so you're going to pay someone nine or ten dollars an hour to do your bidding for you you're profiting off of human labor you're telling the other human being i'm worth more than you and so you're going to give me all of your labor and i'm going to throw change at you or I'm going to go get all these properties and I'm going to rent them to people at less than 2%. And so then while they're paying rent to me, they should be able to save that 2%. So in 10 years after they paid me most of their life's savings, they should have enough to go and buy a home. When these motherfuckers know that 2%, uh, the, the interest rate, the growth on a house increases more than 2% a fucking year. And so in 10 years, the house is exponentially more valuable than that 2% you were saving. These motherfuckers know that they are building castles on the top of human bodies, but they won't call themselves slave owners. They refuse to do that because they don't want to acknowledge the fact that a person is going to live on their property for decades and not own anything. I was talking to a friend, and the friend used the term cattle. And I refuse to believe that you, the greatest American alive, are fucking cattle. You don't just motherfucking graze the land, shit on the land, and die on the land without owning the land. It is Project Daddy's belief that you, the greatest American alive, deserve to own your home. Because home ownership is a motherfucking human right. Because having a place to stay is a human right. And if you are renting and you do not own the place in which you lay your head at night, that is perpetual poverty. That is you giving your money to someone else so they can build castles upon your human labor. Now, I don't want y'all to one day wake up and go to your granddaddy's house and your granddaddy's house ain't your granddaddy's house no more. You're going to go see the big head motherfucking ants, but you can't go see them because that's not your goddamn land. Some little white kids are playing on it. Tell a better story because you're a better human being. You are the greatest American alive, the most powerful citizen the world has ever seen. And I believe in you. But it's goddamn time that you believe in you too because you are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.